This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety on their website, have of course Vivid Voltage and everything you might need to start playing on TCGO. You can use the coupon code ZADOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day and here you can uh, purchase cards and sell cards to people all across Europe, so definitely check out that website as well. I use the affiliated link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and enjoy the video. Peace! Yeah, let's do this! The meta established, let's look at some deck lists ADP demolish the tournaments, I'm honest We'll look at some statistics, Speaker Ram is quite consistent He turned a simplistic, but smacks quite hard, fantastic Let's bring in the welder stuff, playing Luke Metal Tough luck, if Santa scorches, what's not up? You have baby blinds and mute to you There's also Colossal, that looks pretty awesome It's almost immortal, but lacking some results What the heck is amazing? Which ones are remaining? Which ones are you playing? Smack it in the comment section, I'm saying A bomb of information, it's time for education Vivid voltage evaluation, let's do this, I'm impatient! Yes! The top 10 best decks right now, ideal for the upcoming tournaments, like the official team challenge for example. Let's go! What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, on this channel, we talk about the trading card game every single day, so definitely don't forget to subscribe. If you're a new viewer, for the viewers that are uh, already around, uh, the true subscribers, be sure to let me know your favorite deck down below before we get into this video. I'm gonna give you all the data, so this is not going to be uh, subjectively, it is going to be uh, based on true facts. We're gonna be going through all of this data, and then we're gonna give you the top 10 best decks in the format right now this is with the include of the set vivid voltage so if you're looking for a deck to play for the team challenge this is going to be uh, the video for you for you also if you're uh, looking for an online tournament you can go to play.limitlesstcg.com where you can just uh, register for online tournament so uh, because i got a lot of people asking questions like where can I register? Like play.limitlesstcg.com. That is the site for you. So uh, this is a, a sheet I actually made from scratch and this contains information about the last two weeks of Vivid Voltage. I didn't include the uh, previous week before that because that could include like wrong data or not established metadata. This is from the last two weeks so we uh, already know that is going to be uh, the best decks in town. I uh, took the top eight lists from all the online tournaments ha that happened in the last two weeks and combined them into one big Excel file. And now we're gonna be uh, determining which decks are the best. So as you can see, there was the Hexter TCG, the Coffee uh, Cups, the Sunday Opens, the Crollo Tournaments, the Thanksgiving Qualifiers, the, Fl the Flygon Open, the Pokemop, uh, the Limitless Online Series Weeklies, the 500 Cash, uh, which was probably the biggest online tournament uh, ever since the either the Player Cup, the official event, or like the Limitless TCG Series, the Qualifier. So uh, there's a lot of data right here. And this contains the top eight lists from all of those. What can we conclude? This is a pie chart I made of the uh, entire metal, so the Vivid Voltage metal. I'm gonna talk about that very shortly, but I'm actually going to uh, talk about the uh, top 10 backs, decks that I actually uh, yeah, found out here. So, as uh, no surprise, ADPization, the best deck in the format, having 39 top 8 positions, very, very solid, and also has 7 wins uh, in total. So, 7 first place wins, so ADPization, that is the best deck. And we're gonna be talking about the deck list very shortly, but you already have some knowledge about the top 10 architecture before we check out the deck list I'm gonna give you tips and strategies and uh, talk about which cards have been included in certain lists to have yourself a better matchup against other decks we have on the second placement we have the Picaram list here uh, the reason why I've put Picaram higher uh, than uh, yeah I think I'm gonna talk about this uh, very shortly but we have Picaram here with uh, 27 uh, placements in the top eight and then six uh, first place winning uh, sh uh, shenanigans that happened with Picaram. So Picaram, not dead, don't let people fool you. Uh, we thought that Picaram would have been dead with uh, the, uh, the rise of VMAXs and the HP uh, cap that uh, was going higher and higher. But that's not the case, Picaram still solid using the Marnie engine and we're gonna see that very shortly, the deck list. Then we have Eternatus on spot number three. 
Very consistent list, you just have to be afraid of Crushing Hammers because Crushing Hammers seems to be like a game uh, breaking scenario for Eternatus VMAX. There's 26 players uh, that got into top 8 and there's two of them even getting into the first place securement. Uh, we have Baby Blossathlon on number 4. Right, the reason why I'm putting that above Santa Scorch, even though Santa Scorch has 24 uh, placements in the top 8, is because, not I'm biased of uh, <laughs> Baby Blossathlon, but that's because there's 5 people that actually got first place with Blasaflon and that's uh, ways higher in my ranking. So Blasaflon on number four spot, Santa Scorch VMAX, Right below it, uh, that's the number 5 pick here with 24 placements on the top 8, one uh, secure uh, winning list, first place. Then Mewtwo Lightning, Mewtwo Lightning seems to be the su uh, superior Mewtwo build. We have Mewtwo Lightning, we have Mewtwo Psychic with, of course, the uh, Dust North Trevenant, and we have Mewtwo Welder. Mewtwo Lightning seems to be the best one, of course, invented by Tord Reckliff and the uh, famous Pedro Torres that uh, they actually, uh, yeah, both geniuses can create this list for the Player Cup. They both bubbled out. Actually, they uh, lost their winning in, unfortunately. But Mutual Lightning has been put on the map very good. And then 7th uh, place, Loop Metalization. It was very good during the early phases, but with the rise of Vivid Voltage, people thought like with the Metal Coating energy that the deck would have been better. But uh, it is not the case. There's still a lot of uh, Welder decks in the format, Santa Scorch, Beyblance, and uh, yeah, Santa Scorch is running a tech card to get rid of the uh, Coating Metal energy. Then in the 8th spot is Mew Mew Welder. Then a ninth place is Colossal V Max, barely getting into the top ten. Yeah, I know it's a good deck. I am very fan. I'm a huge fan of uh, the uh, Colossal V Max. I actually played uh, with that on the Omnipoke Online Play League. Even one with it, so it's a very good archetype. You hit weakness against Eternus and Picaram. And uh, we also have the Sidui sliding into the number 10 spot. Other than that, there's uh, like Dracapult, Whimsicott decks, Mad Party, and Spirit Tomb sometimes popping up here and there. But those are not too relevant. So as you can see. The meta share right now is like 25% uh, uh, ADP zation. Uh, actually, if uh, yeah, ADP zation, then there's like uh, roughly 15% Picaram, there's 15% Eternatus, Blounds, 10%, and then Santa Scorch as well. So popularity-wise, they're doing pretty okay. Uh, the decks that uh, don't ha don't have a, a high amount of players playing it is like Colossal and Decidueye. People are still afraid of playing those. And now we're going to be switching over to TCGO to give you guys the deck list that you want. So you're here for the top 10 list. You already gotten it. So uh, I'm not wasting anybody's time. So just straight forward giving you the top 10 best decks. And now we're going to look at some deck lists and I'm going to be explaining why they are at that position. So uh, yeah, are you guys ready? Let's go. So as you can see here, this is a Decidueye build, and this is based on Gustavo Wada's list. So Gustavo Wada, very famous Brazilian player. As we can see here, Decidueye still having that deep force camo ability, making sure I cannot get hit by V Pokemon and GXs. Uh, desperately uh, making sure I can wall out opponents because it also runs Obstagoon with Obstruct. If the opponent is only running basic Pokemon and they're not running Aegis slash V or something in their ADP list or whatever, yeah, this can win games. Also against uh, Baby Blast, by the way. And this is also a way you can beat Baby Blast just to promote Bronzong. Uh, let's just, you just have to knock out Cremorant and just wall it out with Bronzong. There's a lot of ways you can go. This is also very, very, very busted against Santa Scorch VMAX. So there's a 1 1 line in here. There's two ordinary rods, so you can shuffle those back. And even a metal goggles to protect that uh, Bronzong from uh, yeah damage done to it by uh, <laughs> other uh, yeah attackers. So it actually technically will have 160 HP thanks to the buff of the metal goggles. The, uh, you can hide behind the Snorlax to use Gormandize to set yourself up. We have Mimikyu for Mewtwo that could be doing some funky stuff in the form of uh, Greninja's GX. Of course, the one with the Mist Clash. Fionn could be pretty annoying for sure. And there's Capture Energies and Aurora Energies in here. So a very, very good list all around. I do love the fact that it is running the 1-1 one -one line of Bronzong since that does help out the Sensor Scorch matchup, which is uh, pretty hard to say the least because Santa Scorch VMAX is an evolution Pokemon, which meant Obstagoon cannot do a lot of things, and uh, the CGY is weak to Volcanion, and uh, this list is also not running weak guard energies. They opted to just go for locking every deck out in the form of a 1-1 one -one Bronzong include. So that is on the number 10 spot, the CGY. If you're a fan of the CGY, just take a print screen right now. Uh, yeah, you have to do it in two shots because uh, not all the cards fit on the screen. <laughs> it's also funny that I have three different Rosas because they're pretty hard to get online. Okay, this is Decidueye, number 10 spot. Number 9 is Colossal, and this is going to be my personal deck list because it's doing pretty great. And I, look at that, overall wins 4, uh, overall played 4, win 4 times. So Colossal VMAX, very good. So this is my list. 
I'm rocking with this. We have, of course, Colossal VMAX, Eruption Shot 130 if the top card of your deck is a, a fighting energy or actually an energy in general, and then you can uh, accelerate it. So with the help of Orangro with Primed Wisdom, you put the energy on top of the deck and you can slap 130 for one single attachment. With the Higher Mind of Boss's Orders and the Great Catcher, you're definitely gonna have a good time because Crobat V is weak to fighting, Picaram is weak to fighting, the Danny GX is weak to fighting, Eternatus, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, threats that you can just one hit KO instantly. Uh, uh, for Eternus VMAX, you just have to make sure you have a lot of energy onto your Colossal VMAX. You have Mello and Lana to help out if they smack damage onto you. You just can uh, heal off all the damage. You have access to still fighting energy to reduce damage done to you by 20. And you also have buff padding to get this monstrous Pokemon to 380 HP, resembling of course that part in the rap intro where I talk about this guy being immortal. And sometimes it is immortal. Uh, the Mel the uh, Melolana is very nice with Lily's Pokedoll, nice synergy right there, so you can switch around, get Lily's Pokedoll in the active, and get use the uh, Lily's Pokedoll uh, activation, so put it on the bottom of the deck, so you can promote your uh, Colossal once more. Uh, the uh, Galarian Surfetch V is also great for prize race, let's say they knock out a Colossal V Max, sometimes you can just swing back with the Galarian Surfetch, they will still need to knock it out and still will not win the game, unless, uh, yeah, yeah. afterwards you can just uh, end up with a lone Colossal V Max. I do love this list so much, Rotom Phone, very nice synergy with of course the Eruption Shot, but could also could put something on top of the deck, for instance the Research, so you can draw it out with Oranguru, I love this list a lot. Unfortunately, not a lot of people are playing it, but uh, I'm a big fan of the Colossal V Max deck. We're sliding it here on the number nine spot because we're gonna have to be uh, objective uh, about this. It only has, as I can see right now, six placements and top eights throughout a bazillion amount of tournaments. So that is not a lot to be honest, but this could rise with future tournaments. Next up is Mew to Welder. As you can see, Mew Mew, I cannot even spell it because, uh, yeah, my keyboard is too far away, unfortunately. <laughs> Here we have. There's a lot of Mewtwo variants, as you can see. We have Mewtwo Welder, Mew, Mew, Mewtwo Frostmod seems to be dying off completely, so that has vanished. <laughs> we have Mewtwo Psychic and Mewtwo Lightning. We're going to be talking about Mewtwo Welder first here on the 8th position. So Mewtwo Welder, as we can see... Uh, this list is still resorting uh, on, of course, classic Welder, four copies of that in here. You Welder onto your Mewtwo and then you just attach an Aurora Energy of the turn. That means you have two Fires and an uh, Aurora Energy, which means you have uh, access to a lot of GX attacks because Mewtwo with the Perfection ability can use all of the attacks of all your GX Pokemon on the bench. Or, even, or in the discard pile. So what can you use? You can use uh, the Massive Bloom, very nice to knock out Eldegos, Crobat, or something like the Nanny GX, or just to uh, rack up some damage early on. We also have uh, Electro Bullet, which can spread some damage, 30-30, could be uh, very significant in certain matchups. And we also have Swift Run GX, prevents all effects, including damage done to this Pokemon. And this is an, an attack which pairs very well with the Reset Stamp that is in here. So you can stamp, use that GX move, be invincible, finish the job later. There's also the access to the Darkness uh, Tornado GX, uh, 10 damage plus 50 more for every damage counter on your Mewtwo. And that can rack up to a bazillion amount of damage. I don't even know how much, because like, let's say you have 26 damage counters on you, then yeah, with of course the multiple uh, amount of damage counters, 50 damage for every damage counter, that's crazy. <laughs> that could be one-shotting anything, so as soon as your Mewtwo gets hit, you just retaliate with that Darkness Tornado GX. You can still snipe with Venom Shot, which is awesome, uh, so you can knock out the Dene. We don't, ha yeah, we do have Galarian Zigzagoon in here, so that means you can also one-hit KO a Crobat with that. Just need one Galarian Zigzagoon ping, so that's why the one-off is in here. It's unfortunate if you start with it, but uh, with so many basic Pokemon in the list, you probably will not start with it. If you start with it, that's very sad. We have Eldegos to recover some supporters. There's a one-off research in here, as well as a uh, two-off of the boss disorders, and you can, of course, use the Great catcher at your disposal as well. So uh, interesting for sure, Victini V can get energies back to your Mewtwo, just uh, sacrifice it and use the Spreading Flames, but could also come in clutch against stuff like Santa Scorch VMAX that wants to go for a one-hit KO. You can use a Welder Attach of Turn and use Energy Burst for a lot of damage. And now that I think about it, you can also use that against Picaram that wants to use Tag Ball GX. If they use Tag Ball GX for six energies, this Victini can easily sweep off that Picaram. And don't forget about Rashizar, which can go through all of the effects. So you can go through stuff like, for instance, the Decidueye, like an Obstagoon. This list is not running the, the yeah, uh, Greninja GX with Mist Slash to go through uh, all effects. So uh, you might include that if you want to, but uh, with the low amount of the Decidueye being played, I don't think it's all that necessary. Very nice list, Mewtwo Wilder still around, it was actually, remember the World Championships with Perfection Mewtwo and Henry Brand? Yeah, that was a, a long time ago, I actually missed the World Championships, like I would have been 
uh, so stoked I would have been able to play Baby Blasafalon at the World Championships in 2020, but now we just have to wait for 2021. Hopefully that will be the case. Okay, moving forward, there's Luke Metalization. Are there any Luke Metalization fans in the building? This is the updated list with the metal coating energy. This is like Metal Frank Pan and Weak Guard Energy. Uh, like this, it's very similar. It just gets rid of your weakness, and now you don't need to rely on those Carlos Weak Guard Energies. This is way better. You can just attach it, use Intrepid Sword on your Zation. Yeah, it has no weakness. Your Zamazenta has no weakness. Your Luke Metal, no weakness. No weakness to fire is good. Be careful because a lot of Sensus Scorch players, if not all of them, are now playing Dimension Bridge Giratina to get rid of that special energy. So they still go through weakness, which is annoying. This list is of course running the Aegis Slash V tech card just for the Decidueye Obstagoon matchup respecting that because it's otherwise it's, uh, it's impossible to win against that. We have full metal wall jacks reducing all damage done to your metal types by 30 and if you get an extra energy you also discard all of the energies on the opponent's active which is probably the way you should be playing full metal wall jacks in combination with the crushing hammers just to get rid of all of the energies. Very, it works very well against Eternatus, works very well against uh, a lot of decks to be honest. We have Lily's Pokédol, as mentioned, very nice with the Melolanos in here as a synergy, but you can hide behind them and use a couple of Intrepid Swords to set up your Zation V until you are ready. The Zamazenta uh, improves your matchup tremendously against Sentuscorch, but also improves your matchup against Eternatus, which is uh, also a very big contender in the format right now. With Tool Scrapper, you can get rid of opposing Metal Goggles, but could also get rid of Big Charms, Gi uh, Cape of Toughness, all that magical Tool Card shenanigans. Can get rid of that. Also, the Air Balloons. Don't forget, a lot of of, uh, decks are now running air balloon including like uh, uh yeah the whimsy cut deck it's also nice to just get rid of their lucky axe for instance what else can we see two copies of power plan they are respecting that the danny jacks is the most broken card in the format so uh yeah everybody's still playing the danny if i'm looking at the top two decks they're all playing like oh, a heavy amount of the danny so power plan stops gx abilities from working but it could also come in clutch definitely against stuff like baby blacephalon they do rely on the danny jacks they do rely on oracorio jacks so you can shut those in uh instantly definitely with the considering the fact you have four marnies putting them to a low hand size and shutting off the abilities is probably uh, busted against blacephalon but be careful, Blasphalon is running Mar Shadow uh, to get rid of Stadium cards and also running a high amount of Giant Hearts, as we're going to be seeing very, very shortly. Okay, this is the list. So as mentioned, full Metal Wall Jacks, 30 buff, as well as the Metal Goggles, 30 buff. But Metal Goggles could also protect yourself from... Um, abilities done to you so you cannot get uh, like uh, the damage that is done by abilities for instance a Galarian Zigzagoon Ping cannot come down on you as well which is very important. Okay, uh, that was a mouth for light or Luke Metalization. Uh, next up is Mew Mew Lightning. Back to the Mew Mews. Uh, Mewtwo Mewtwo uh, is back. Mew and Mew Tag Team Jacks. It will be still be in C play until it rotates because there's so many Jax uh, attackers we can use. This list has opted to go for Greninja here. That's the one I, I meant here with Miss Slash to go through stuff like Obstagoon or the Sejuai. Awesome. We have Vikavolt here being able to item lock. So this is a Lightning Box Mewtwo relying on the Electrify Bolton to get the energies into play initially. And then you can go for with your Mewtwo. You can copy attacks from every Jax. You can go for a full Blitz, accel accelerating more energies on the bench. You can go for Galarian Surfetch if you get two Aurora energies in play, you can just uh, get this in the active slot, absorb all the Aurora energies and go for Meteor Smash, knocking out Pikaram, knocking out uh, the Eternus V Max instantly. As again, the Massive Bloom is very great in the early on uh, yeah, uh, turns. And we also have access to, uh, of course, the Naganadel GX. And this list is not running the Galarian Zigzagoon. So this is the Lightning build. Probably just doesn't need it because you can also get cheeky KOs with Tag Ball GX at one point. Very interesting for sure. Don't forget that uh, the Bolton will dish out a huge amount of damage with Bolt Storm in the late phases because this list is running 14 energies. So at one point you will of course be able to use Electrify, Attack Bolt, Tag Bolt, switching around Reset Stamp. And at one point you have so many energies that Bolton can sweep up a huge one hit KO. So yeah, this is Mewtwo Lightning. This is uh, coming in on the number 6 spot. Now we're gonna go over to some Welder Madness again. It's going to be Santa Scorch V Max. I'm not including the Greens build because Greens build is not performing that well. This is uh, the consistent build with, of course, the Giratina. You do need the Giratina to get rid of special energies. Not only can this help against an alone Eternatus that uses something like Hiding Dark Energy or Capture Energy and just be stuck in the active, you can just get rid of that special energy entirely. You can get rid of the Speed Lightning Energy and Picaram. You can also get rid of the Stone Fighting Energies against Colossal. So this Giratina now putting in lots of work because the format is filled with a ton of special energies and uh, yeah it's very nice because you can loop it with scoop up net not only that 
This list, of course, is relying on Volcanion getting all the energies in play. You always want to go second with this list, getting energies onto your Senti Scorch. Hopefully, the turn after that, you get Senti Scorch V Max out, Welder onto it, and go crazy with the G Max Senti Inferno. 40 damage plus 40 more for every fire energy attached to uh, the Senti Scorch, and you also can get back an energy from the discard pile to it. So at one point, Senti Scorch will have too many energies to count and will be able to get the huge one hit KOs. You hit Weakness against Zacian, which is already a plus point and, uh, in my book, and you also hit Weakness against Luke Metal definitely considering the fact you get rid of their uh, the uh, coding metal energies it relies on the four line of Jirachi so Jirachi to the Danny and a Crobat seems to be the norm for this list so you can find your welders there's also two uh, Poke Gears to even help dig deeper for the welder and Giant Heart to thin out your hand very very nice and also a late game reset stamp as bonkers with of course Santa Scorch V Max Fion can actually make it hard for the opponent. Sometimes they will uh, have a Jirachi. You can use Fion to put something in the active. Or maybe you want half, of course, a one-head KO machine. You can use Fion instead of relying on boss because uh, sometimes you need to welder and boss at the same turn, which is not possible. This list is not running Lieutenant Surge strategy. Sliding in on the number five spot. Moving forward, we're gonna be talking about my personal favorite deck. You could have guessed it already. It's Baby Blacephalon. This is the 19 energy build, which is very, very successful throughout the last couple of weeks. It just revolves around uh, lots of draw Pokemon. We have Zacian drawing cards, we have Orcorio drawing cards, we have Crobat drawing cards. Funny enough, this list is not running um, the Marshadow in here, so they just run a pure four copies of Giant Heart. Which does help out, I think. Like sometimes Chaotic Swell could just uh, be a pain in your uh, <laughs> in your side, but don't worry about it too much. Sometimes if you go second and if they don't have Chaotic Swell, you can immediately make use of the Giant Heart, which you probably will have in the opening hand. I do love the fact you can go for like a turn like uh, Quick Ball or Choreo, use or Choreo, get another Quick Ball, Quick Ball to Dene, uh, another Quick Ball, Crobat, drawing your entire deck uh, basically because you also have four switches, four scoop up nets, and four Jirachi. So with so many draw power behind you. You can just draw instantly and uh, use, of course, uh, the Welder onto your Blossephalon and just hopefully you have enough energies in hand. If you're in the discard pile, it's even better because of the Fire Crystals. And Mewtwo can uh, loop, of course, your one copy of Boss. Sometimes you can use Welder on Blossephalon. You say, oh, I don't have enough energies. Just uh, let your Jirachi uh, see the discard pile and then uh, use Boss's orders next turn to get, your, of course, your three prize Pokemon KO. Unless you get Bossed uh, as well. So, But this is a very busted list. 19 energies is a bit much. If you're looking for uh, another personal uh, touch for your Blacephalon, I also have another list up here with, of course, a Reshizard include and the Talon Flame and the uh, Telescopic Sight and, of course, an Ultra Beast Bringer shenanigans because there's still a lot of tag teams in the format and this is just my personal list. You can be choosing between the lists that has 19 energies, which saw a lot of success already, or you can be using my version of the deck. It is your personal playstyle, just print screen whatever version you like. I'm giving you my personal deck list, that's how it is. Just definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you've uh, been watching the video for so long, you, should, you definitely should, you're interested in this kind of content, so uh, yeah, you help me out a ton, and uh, yeah, we're, have, we're gonna have a good time here with the Lightning Squad on my channel. Number three, Going for Eternus VMAX, I also have two lists lined up for you today. So the first one is the consistent one with Galarian Zigzagoons and Scoop Up Nets, uh, as well as Power Plants. Of course, Power Plants respecting the Dedene that is in uh, Santa Scorch, that is in Picaram, that is in ADP. So Power Plant, very powerful. And uh, there's also like uh, not a lot to say about this list. It is running three copies of Spirit Tomb to help yourself against... Uh, yeah, it's a one price Pokemon that can dish out a huge amount of damage. It can knock out Orcorio very early on because it's weak to darkness and it can also knock out uh, at the Danny GX because if you get 5 damage counters on your uh, Spirit Tomb, you slap 160, that's the perfect numbers right there. There is a Sableye V in here, respecting that Zamazenta is very very annoying, definitely annoying to deal with so uh, you can use uh, the Sableye of course to help yourself out against that. And it dishes out more damage depending on how many damage there is on the Zamazenta. And you can put damage on thanks to Galarian Zigzagoon. So it's a very funky combo right here. Not a lot to say about this list. Just 10 basic darkness energies. Not resorting to a hiding dark energies. Instead revolving around 4 switches. And switches are insta playable cards. Which can help clean your hand up to use Crobat. So uh, very instant uh, draw power indeed. You get Great Ball insta playable card. Quick Ball insta playable card. Power blend slapping it down, so d digging deeply, this is good because sometimes Eternity just is so powerful because it's uh, dominance in the early phases is just too good to handle. There's also a poison variant which I'd love to share here, this is the one with Galarian Slowbro V and the Rapid Fire Poison. 
If this is in the active position, you can use the ability, opponent will be poisoned and uh, with the help of Toxic Croak, you can actually, if you are able to slap three of these up, you can actually put seven damage counters on the opposing Pokemon between turns with the poison and uh, racking that up with the 270 base damage, you can do the map, that's 340, so Eternatus, this has probably the edge in the mirror match of Eternatus VMAX and also can help out against Sentry Scorch indeed, so... You can either go for poison and also the poison mechanic gives you a, a win condition against the CGY because the CGY only protects itself from damage, not from special conditions. This list does run Dark City, there's even 3 copies in here so you can switch around your Galarian Slowbro V until your heart's content, but also even 4 switches so uh, you don't get stuck and uh, that's why Hoopa is also part of the squad because sometimes you can dunk opponents if you go second with the Assault Gate and let's say they just start with a lone Jirachi or Galarian Zigzagoon, boom it could be over before you know it. Capture Energy will allow you to get your crow gunks easier uh, in play and there's also hiding dagger energy so lots of switching around because I, I don't know I don't know if you've realized but there's of course ways that uh, the Mewtwo players will paralyze you. They could use uh, the uh, lightning ride GX and that is not paralyzing but a tandem shock that's what I meant could paralyze you and this uh, is not helping out with the hiding dark energy or the dark city so that's why there's even four copies of switch in here. It all it depends on you if you're a Eternatus player, which version you prefer more. Okay, now to the two best decks in the format, and that's going to be Picaram based on resistance uh, and results actually, not on resistance. Here we have Picaram. This seems to be the way people are now perfecting Picaram. Two copies of the Picaram, one copy of Raichu and the Lower Raichu Tag Team Jax. There's a uh, Vikavol in here, winning you the Blacephalon matchup. This item locking machine is insane. <laughs> There's also four uh, Crushing Hammers, Crushing Hammers and even a copy of the Team Yelgrun, which you can loop with Eldigo, so definitely great against ADP, definitely great against Eternatus, which are like decks that just attach paths and then go crazy. <laughs> uh, you also have Energy Switches, because that helps out with your Tapu Koko Prism Star, very busted getting Lightning Energies into play, you can switch them around to your Picaram and hopefully get a first turn Full Blitz, if not, you can safely hide behind a Bolton, which uses Electrify, and then you can use the Full Blitz instead. With the hammers and with the high amount of money, the opponent will be slowed down so much that you can have the upper hand. If they miraculously knock out your Picaram instantly, you can go for a reset stamp, putting the opponent to a low hand size and just go crazy. The Chaotic Spell protects you from wicked stuff like the uh, Power Plant that could come into play, which can of course block your Dennis. And um, this list is running Speed Lighting Energy, and that's why I think it's so consistent. Speed Lighting Energy, drawing cards, electromagnetic radar, finding your Picaram, smacking down a Dedenne, drawing a couple of cards, using a research, drawing more cards, you should have a Goku Prism Star. You're definitely gonna find everything with this kind of a list. So uh, I do love the Vika Vault include in here because I think it is so underrated, and I am I'm respecting the Vika Vault in this Lightning Archetype. I don't know if you've seen it, but Mewtwo is also part of the squad. Not only can Mewtwo provide you with uh, yeah uh, 30 extra HP because Picaram only has 240. With the big charm, it can actually go to 300, which can sometimes be a game-winning scenario against Eternus. And also, you can hit uh, opposing Mewtwo's four weakness, which is very very nice. Okay. Are you guys ready for the best deck in the format? Like everybody knew this was coming. You have ADPization. Yeah, we have a couple of lists here with ADPization. This is yeah, this is a classic list with the tool scrapper in here with two big charms and crushing hammers. This is the build that is also very successful. You can just use crushing hammer until your heart's content, slowing the opponent down. Very great against uh, the Eternatus. Very great against uh, yeah, also Mew Mew getting rid of their Aurora energies is busted. So this is the uh, energy denial build. You could be playing that. Or you could be playing it with the Amazing Rare Jirachi. Again, this is a personal preference uh, for you. Amazing Rare Jirachi also has the tech card of Aegislash, respecting the Sidewine and Obstagoon. And uh, this list is also, I do think, like the previous list, is it running the Zamazenta? Okay, both lists are not running Zamazenta, but I think uh, if you are scared of certain matches and want to improve them, you could be sliding in the Zamazenta in here. The reason why it's not in here is just they have room for Jirachi and, of course, the Aegislash. Uh, as mentioned, Aegislash after the, bu the buff of Alter Creation GX will be dishing out 30 extra damage. That's 160. Very, very menacing for sure. Knocking out the CGYs. Just need to knock out three Pokemon, you win the game. And uh, yeah, ADP, if you are new to the channel, Alter Creation GX is like the most broken uh, attack in the game. It breaks the game. You take an extra prize card for every KO for the rest of the game. And also, you uh, stack 30 damage for the rest of the game with all of your Pokemon. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not making this up, it's all in the little letters right there, in the small text. <laughs> 
but it's there. It's insane. You can use Intrepid Swordization at the early phase of the game, drawing, of course, everything. The deck also runs Leon, so no need for Tool Scrapper in here. You just use Leon, and uh, if you want to use it again, you have Aldegos. We also have four energy switches because if you go second, Getting that first turn ultra creation jack self will automatically, hopefully, win you the game. And uh, yeah, this list just re revolves around getting ADP out, attaching a, a water energy, using a saucer onto the Zation, using energy switch, four copies in here, putting it to the ADP and just announcing ultra creation jacks. Then the opponent is suddenly on the clock and in three turns you win because this list runs four copies of boss's orders and even a great catcher. So if the opponent wants to be consistent, runs the Dene, you can abuse great catcher. If not, just go for boss's orders and you can also get your boss back thanks to Aldigos. I haven't even talked about the most broken thing in this list and that's Mawal. The opponent could be saying, yeah, I know it's ADP, not gonna be slapping down my Dedanish, just gonna use research instead of using Dedanish and just setting up slowly. That's not gonna work because Mawal actually just uh, look at the opponent hand and you can find any number of basic Pokemon in their hand and just slap them down on the bench. Their abilities don't activate, unfortunately, but you can slap down their Crobats and the Dennis before the opponent has even the chance to activate him. And that's what busted, that's busted about this card, not only that. This can attack for two attachments and uh, it also slaps a huge amount of damage depending on the bench size. Against Eternus, very, very awesome because you can use Saucer attachment and just go crazy because Eternus probably has like eight bench Pokemon. Eight bench Pokemon, that's a whole heap of damage. That's uh, eight, 16, 240, 250 base with, of course, the extra with the alter creation. You could be knocking out a lot of things with that Mawal. So yeah, this is the list. Uh, take screenshots and uh, that's it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this 30 minute wrap up of the entire format with deck list. So if you guys are excited and uh, are gonna test a lot of these out, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. It does help out the channel more than you would possibly think. I know I've rambled on for a long, uh, a long uh, time here, but I, I just want to give you guys all the information you need. If you're playing in the team uh, challenges this weekend or uh, the rest of the month, be sure to let me know if, you're, if any of these decks worked out for you. I wish you the best of luck and also subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content. I also want to thank every single one that's watching this video. And if you're looking for TCGO codes and you don't have any, you you can just go to Potion Store. Use the coupon code ZADOSTCG for 5% of your next order and purchase yourself the Arceus Dialga uh, Palkia League Battle Deck. Maybe your Picaron League Battle Deck. They have them up on stock and you can just get almost all of the cards instantly. Looking for the nice, get that trainer toolkit. And uh, on all these items, just 5% off with, of course, the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG. Thanks again for tuning in today. I will see you guys in the next video because, of course, this uh, channel brings you daily Pokemon TCG content. So. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna be playing some games. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Thanks again for watching. Peace.